it's day two, day three, day four, maybe day five of your carnivore diet. And you're finding it very easy to do, except for one problem you're now running into. You are perpetually hungry. Your body will just demand more food and more food and more food. It's, you're eating absurd amounts of food. You're sticking to your beef, your butter, your bacon, your eggs. You're eating more meat and eggs in one sitting than you've ever eaten in your life. And then an hour later, or maybe two, you're hungry again. And it really blows your mind because you spend a lot of time on carnivore social media groups or watching carnivore videos where people tell you intermittent fasting happens almost naturally. People get satiated they, on carnivore easily. They find themselves just naturally going to one meal a day or two meals a day. But you're completely, have, your, your mind is blown. You're eating four or five, six times a day. You have no idea what's going on. What's happening? Sound familiar? This might be happening to you or to your friend who is just flabbergasted because you're expecting carnivore to be easy. After all, we, including myself, tell you it's the easiest diet to stay on. And that's true. If you're experiencing this, I'm not really sure what the name for, the, for what you're going through is, but it's pretty easy. And anybody who's ever done carnivore or keto for a long period of time then had a cheat day that spiraled out of control into a cheat week or two, before regaining control of their senses, which is probably what's happening also right now to a lot of people who decided to take Christmas off, <laughs> they'll, be they'll be familiar with this too. What you're dealing with is your body's addiction to carbohydrates, especially sugar. It's your body wanting the things that, it used, that you used to eat. And I don't mean specifically the bad foods that you used to eat, you know, your old favorites of pizza or burgers or whatever. We're talking just basic carbohydrate things, or worse, pure sugar, the desserts. But usually it's going to be the basic carbs. Your body is used to getting a certain amount of carbohydrates on average per day. This is one reason why it's a good idea to track before you start carnivore, just to see how much you're eating, how much of your diet is just pure, the pure rubbish of carbohydrates. Because you don't need to eat plants. There's no reason to eat them. That's why you're looking at or trying carnivore. But a week in, your body's used to that stuff. It's letting you know, hey, man, you forgot the, the, the roll or the, the, the pasta or whatever junk you're used to eating. And it could be you're not having an overt craving for them, but your body is signaling constantly that you're hungry. So what do you do? In the first week or two of carnivore, while I'm a big believer in tracking, you know, and restricting the amount you eat for weight loss, for, body, you know, for getting, getting rid of excess body fat, the first week or two of carnivore, you don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> really don't. You, this is the hazardous time, the time where the most people who fall off the diet will fall off the diet. And the real, your main thing to do here is to stay on track, stay on program. So what do you do? Make some extra hamburger patties when you're, when you're that hungry. Have some extra brisket. Uh, make an extra ribeye. Not part of the cult of the ribeye myself. It's a nice cut. But you can do the carnivore diet with ground beef if you want to. But there are plenty of carnivores who eat almost exclusively ground beef because it's cheap and it's very, very easy to get super fatty ground beef. In fact, the fattier ground beef is the cheaper ground beef than the leaner. It's one of those few things that works in your favor in terms of cost on the carnivore diet. But well, plenty of people stick that way. If you can have dairy at this time, by the way, this is the time to add more butter. Get yourself full on carnivore things for the first week or two if you're having this problem and you don't have the willpower to just sort of tough it out. The other thing you can do is add salt. Salt can help you enormously in this. It could be a signaling that your body isn't being given the sodium it needs. I'm going to tell you right now, if, you, if you've done time in keto groups, you're already familiar with the argument for getting more sodium. You, your body tends to use extra water to uh, process carbohydrates. And now that you're doing carnivore, you're getting one or two net carbs a day from the eggs you're eating and that's, or organs that you're eating, and that's it. You're not getting anything else. So your body doesn't need to hold as much water. But it still needs the water for other functions. So what happens? You drink more water. And what happens when you drink this water? You pee more. And what happens when you pee more? You pee out your electrolytes. So what do you do? Well, classically, in I like, especially in athletic keto groups, they recommend upping your uh, sodium per day to 5,000 milligrams or more. That sounds like a lot. It's 
not that much, honestly. You you may have actually been getting that much when you if you were doing a dirty American diet anyway. That will help. That could help with this, but I found that I personally needed closer to eight thousand milligrams, especially on active days. Like today, I'm about after recording this video, I'm going to go hit the gym and spend an hour and a half there or something working on legs. I will need electrolytes today, probably a lot of them. I typically aim for eight thousand milligrams a day. It's a couple teaspoons, that's like a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon and a half, plus uh, the electrolyte uh, supplement that I use. It's doable. You can do it. That can help curb those hunger cravings because your body needs electrolytes. If you don't get the electrolytes, you may run into other problems, and I'll do another video on those. But those hunger pangs, try upping your salt, and just eat extra now. That's carnivore to get you through this initial phase. Don't live and die by that scale. You don't, don't need to, don't worry so much about that. This, the carnivore diet is a long journey, okay? Don't expect necessarily the weight to fall off immediately. I mean, you will lose some, a lot of water weight initially, but don't expect miracle results early on. Just get through the first few days. The first few days, if you're going from the standard American way of eating to a, to this, you want to get through the first few days because your body will rebel. It will be begging you for carbs at some point. And the best way to stick your finger in that those begging's eye is to just eat more bacon, eat more steak. Instead of having two eggs like you're used to for breakfast, have six. Add some butter. If cheese is on your program, so you're not doing this necessarily for fat loss, add the cheese. Cheese will torpedo weight loss, by the way. I'll talk about that in another video. But don't, don't do anything that makes your first few weeks harder, especially if this is your first attempt or your second attempt, and it, you failed spectacularly before because day three, day four, day five, you were just hungry the whole day, even though you were eating what felt like a ridiculous amount of food. And the other thing I'm going to point out to you is on the concept of a ridiculous amount of meat to eat every day, there are plenty of carnivores who report that they eat three pounds of beef a day. It's not as ridiculous as you might think. Yeah, I know, that sounds like a, four, what, a 48 ounce steak for a whole day. Sure, broken over two meals, it's not that big. I mean, Sounds big because that's like the high end steak at a steakhouse, but it's not that big. There are carnivores who eat five pounds of beef a day. Those tend to be bodybuilders. They're going for the act, all that creatine in the beef, and they need more fuel because they are much more active than the average person. I see normal, typical people whose idea of exercise is twice a week, 20 minutes of weightlifting, you know, in their garage with some with a set of dumbbells, or who don't even do any, even that. They just go for a bike ride or they walk or something. Normal people doing normal, everyday things report two to three pounds of beef a day, plus some eggs and some bacon and some butter, plenty of sodium to go with it. So up your sodium, up your fat, you should be okay. We'll get you through this. All the real magic on the carnivore diet doesn't happen that first week anyway. It takes a little while to get there, and we need to get you through those hunger pangs that you're dealing with right now. So if you're watching this video and you're a veteran doing the carnivore diet, what other ways can people get rid of those hunger pangs that don't involve, you know, drinking coffee or anything? things? I'm not anti-coffee, but some people that won't work for. So what other options do people have for getting rid of those hunger pangs in those first few days before their body sort of, you know, gets to that new, uh, that new happy place of the carnivore diet? Let me know in the comments some other tips for people watching this, because this is a carnivore community. We're here to watch each other's back, okay? So let me know in the comments and like and subscribe if you're new to this. and. Uh, just check out some of my other videos. I got videos on how to save money on your carnivore diet. If you're new to the carnivore diet, you may think it's expensive. It's not. <laughs> just uh, check, check those things out. And uh, I'm Anthony Stein, the Practical Carnivore. Thanks for your time today.